It is Basic Sorgonomics on Mike Sorgat Sorgatron on the Twitter, and uh, this is where we chat about the things that are going on. What did I did I announce the wrong show? Is something happening outside? My compatriot Missy, partner in crime here, is uh, with me as well. Whoa! I gave you a long way shot. Yeah, what's up with that? These views are epic. We're gonna fix this. Zoom, zooming. Zooming to the photo of Jackson Argos. Oh, yeah. Jackson Argos. Well, oh, hi, dog. And dog. There you go. Well, it is obviously, because we're so on top of things, obviously, is uh, you're staring at the dog now. <laughs> Sorry. I'm excited about the puppy. <laughs> we are definitely post-podcast uh, day. We are in the the podcast day hangover mode right now and we were going to do this earlier i swear we did not just get up uh but uh facebook seemed to not like to do videos the dog has something to say and uh yeah it, it, it was one of those things but I, i'm glad i'm just glad that kind of thing doesn't happen or has not happened when we're doing something you know important or have a client thing we're doing like <laughs> your, your pillow fighting with the dog to get him to shut up <laughs> That's amazing. Um, actually, speaking of the dog, we had kind of an interesting situation here when we got in. Um, we have this wonderful Enzo Amore, one of the wrestlers, oh hairstyle, God. and it was left sitting on in the middle of the couch. And the dog walked in and saw, like, the tuft of hair on the couch and thought it was, like, I don't know, a cat or something and was, like, kind of back standoffish with it. Missy? Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry. I'm like, dog, please be quiet. Uh, yeah, the dog started barking at it. And yeah, yeah. it was just sitting there. And he came over and he was kind of investigating. He wanted to jump up on the couch is what he wanted to do. But there was this thing sitting in the middle of it. And he just kept checking it out. And it was weird. So then Sorg started to get it. Get it. He started barking at that point. And the best part was that, like, he turned around to, to look at Sorg to get, you know, approval that he could, you know, check it out. And when he turned back around, wow. apparently he thought it had moved because he jumped and then barked again. <laughs> <laughs> like, he kind of tricked himself on it. It was interesting. Yeah, it was it was hilarious. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, fun fun things working, co-working with a dog. Co-working with wow. the dog, yes. And, and everybody's wondering why he was barking at and everything. Uh, in the in the offices in the back here as well, but anyways, uh, he's he just got stuff to say out there apparently. <laughs> well, there's somebody standing right there. That's what the problem is. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, but anyways, yeah, it is the podcast day hangover, and uh, and we had a lot of fun last night. We we kind of uh, were we're low key with um we're we're kind of low key with awesome cast, and it was just chill on. I didn't schedule a guest, and we haven't had that for a while, so it was good to kind of get. Uh, it was good to kind of, I love he's completely ignoring you, <laughs> uh, but he's more settled in at least, but, uh, you know, it, it was, it was good to kind of get back to basics there with, uh, with Chilla for the main show. Yeah. Um, we, we didn't have daughters. We didn't have a guest. We didn't have like other stuff happening. So it was completely just you and Chilla. And usually when it's just the two of you, you guys tend to deep dive stuff. Thankfully, I didn't feel like you really deep dived much of anything last night because I was able to follow along with the conversation. So kudos to you two on that one. Yeah, keep it pretty light. Hey, we're professionals. We're podcast professionals at this point. Um, Yes, but <laughs> you and Chilla still tend to get, go get, down the technology there. rabbit hole. Oh, absolutely. And absolutely. that's where the problem lies in. Mm -hmm. um, it's okay. It's okay. They're gone. They're gone, dude. They're gone, Wicket. <laughs> but no, that was good. It was good to kind of get back to basics with that. And then we had um, finally somebody make it in studio, Rev Ron Hunt, uh, pro wrestler here locally. And uh, we, he, he, it was funny because he, he was supposed to make it in here a couple weeks ago, but there was a truck on fire on 70 because he was doing some work um, um, on, I guess, a movie set down in West Virginia. He was on his way back to make it a, a, about two weeks ago to the show. And and he sends us a picture. It's like, yeah, there's a truck on fire. We're I, I, I'm not making it. Uh, but it's still, it was a good time with him too. Um, a lot of fun. And and again, you know, we have a lot of pictures of him and his because he's you know everybody's coming dressed up to the show now. <laughs> well, to be honest, um, 
the people that have come dressed up for the show mm-hmm. generally dress well to begin with. Mm-hmm. Like any time that I have seen the Rev, he's he's pretty well dressed. Um, same thing goes for Locked and Loaded. I mean, the the guys they dress well. Um, Calvin Couture, I mean, that's his name. He's he's got to dress like that mm-hmm. to you know. It's, it's just it's just his thing. Very sparkly. Very, very sparkly, sparkly indeed. Um, but no, it's it's just kind of one of those. It's a stark comparison to uh, heck. I'm sitting here in sweatshirt and yoga pants just because comfort was my thing on podcast hangover day uh i don't have any meetings so i'm like you know i'm gonna go and i'm gonna do some work and i'm going to be comfortable doing it absolutely absolutely i, I mean that's, that's yeah that's the nice thing about that but uh yeah so it, it was pretty good it was a lot of fun um and uh what did, what did you learn from podcast day did I really love the graphic that I did for <laughs> You had a show? lot of fun. You were really diving into Photoshop here. I think you're finding your like secondary career with between the social media and, and all this, you know, after all these years. It's amazing. It's fun. Um it's it's where I get to be creative. Uh you know, we we talked about getting the band back together. Oh god. Yes, I threw <laughs> the Enzo hair at him to see if it would make him stop. Uh it's it's about putting the uh effort into things and just finding something that you're have fun doing. Just ignore him. Just ignore him. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine on the mic. Oh God. I just, I feel like it's really loud because I keep hearing it in my ears really loudly and I just, I want to throw a pillow at him, but that would be just bad. So I will not throw a pillow at the dog because that would just be bad. (laughs) So, anyways, uh, no, a lot of fun on podcast day this week. We didn't do any uh, any interviews or anything, but we had a great guest in, uh, as usual. We're looking forward to the next couple of weeks. We're gonna have a lot of people returning to the show that uh, you know have been you know in the old studio and and you know kind of returning. We scheduled we ske- we scheduled a good bit um, here going into November as well. And some of these like kind of we're gonna try to do kind of party nights. Um, we're gonna do like a Halloween night coming up and and again still trying to make that those tuesday nights kind of an event kind of situation right oh absolutely and and that's kind of the fun thing that we've tried to do now that we have the nice studio space up here we can do that um you know we we have relatively an open door policy that if you want to come hang out for some of the shows that we can do that uh we ask that you let us know in advance we can make sure to have enough seats and enough pizza from slice and broadway available for everybody um otherwise it's, it's just a matter of just doing it you know, we're we're doing some cool stuff. People are noticing that we're doing some cool stuff. We've had people stop in. Hey, I hear you guys do some podcasting. I would really love to like talk to you guys about starting a podcast or I have a podcast and I'd like to talk to you guys about maybe coordinating something and working together, or collaborating or whatever. Um, so we're having more and more of those conversations, which is really good. Um, I am working up some community events because we're here. We're visibly in the community and it's great to be able to to do that. Um, so yeah, there, there's just there's a lot going on over here. And you're sitting over there waving your hands. Absolutely, yeah, no, no yeah, I, I'm I'm muting the mic so I can snap at the dog. He's not, he's ignoring us. Since we're no, it's because somebody's internet. walking across the street. Yes, <laughs> he he loves people. Um, anyways, uh, but no, check everything out. Wrestling Mayhem Show, awesome cast, all should be up uh, on your social media outlets, on video versions and everything like that. Well, you're, you're you're doing the eyeball thing. Oh, I, I need to post a couple places too. Still, still, I haven't I haven't done the social. I just realized that on everything yet. So it was just the initial <laughs> posting that auto post when we post a, something up yeah but otherwise i've not done the social is this is what this is the podcast hangover day where we could do all that cleanup on it so and everything else going on so um, just timetables like this yeah. this is the hardest part that i have with things is i like to get in here and i like to just go through my to-do list mm-hmm. and my to-do list i had everything kind of going light this morning because i knew that we'd be coming in and recording basics ergonomics right. and i was planning on doing my social media gauntlet after we had done that so that i could just literally roll into it not have to worry about taking a break midstream and figuring out where did i leave off where do i need to and get then into facebook it? struck and then facebook struck yeah and said hey we're not going to do that today. so again knowing that we would be taking a break somewhere in between i didn't want to take and run the gamut of the social media aspect of things mm-hmm. so 
Yeah. I've been working on other things, though, so <laughs> got some client work that I've got going through. I uh, got some other tasks off my to-do list and really excited about what I talked to you about this morning mm-hmm. with how I want to do the Mayhem Show and Awesome Cast Gold Mm-hmm. Logos. Yeah, we were going to be changing those a little bit up for our Patreon people. We actually had a uh, some new challenges out for the Patreon people. I did dis- the close disclose to um, to to Chilla that if we have a twenty dollar person uh, pop up uh, on the on the um, um, sorry distracted uh, on the Patreon, then uh, we're completely going to um, get that uh, get that brick wall in here. So looking forward to that too. So. Check out everything, basic sorgonomics, basic sorgonomics on the twi- iTunes and everything. And we'll see you guys next time. Mm-hmm.